Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I'm doing another productive day in my life vlog. I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant this week. It is January 31st, last day of January. And I just have some things to do today. I also got like my stroller, came in with all the stuff, like the attachments that we bought for it. So I think I'm gonna like unbox that and set it up in today's video but first i'm about to go run and grab a coffee i did this i think my last vlog from the girl in my neighborhood who sells them this week her flavor was like honey whipped something and it sounded so good so i'm about to go pick that up um i'm gonna make breakfast when i get back and season 11 of vanderpump rules started it well it came out last night i guess but i was sleeping but i think only the first episode came out i think it comes out every tuesday so i think i'm gonna watch the first episode while i eat my breakfast and relax and then I am going to do some tours and stuff and then also our stroller came in with like the attachments and stuff and the car seat and whatnot so I'm going to unbox that for you guys and set it up and see what it looks like and yeah that is going to be so exciting. I was, I've was i been so excited. I feel like the stroller is the thing I was most excited to receive in the mail because I just can't wait to like set it up and like see what it looks like and whatnot but first we're going to head and get this coffee okay i'm driving but i really want to try this and i feel like i need to try it on camera oh wait i'm about to be at a stop sign <clears throat> that is so good okay i had to abruptly stop because there's so many stop signs in my neighborhood obviously um and people i was trying to like stop at a stop sign and talk because it's like rainy and like no one's out right now and then like nine thousand cars were everywhere but anyways this is giving like 2020 covid lockdown whipped coffee but like so much better so i think she just like whipped like almost like a cold foam on top and the rest is like regular i don't know but it's also like honey cinnamon or something it's so good Okay, while my pancakes are cooking, let's do a quick little pregnancy update. So like I said, I'm 23 weeks. I actually have an anterior placenta, which just means that the placenta is on like this side of baby instead of behind. So I was told it would be like a lot harder to feel like movement, kicks, all that. Um, and I started feeling little flutters around like 19-ish to 20 weeks, but like nothing crazy it was kind of like where it was like is it or is it not but obviously as time has gone on i felt them a lot more but today actually i felt for or i saw for the first time on the outside and i felt for the first time yesterday or the day before i like put my hand where he was kicking and then i felt it like from the outside which was such a weird feeling because i like didn't know what it felt like on the outside i know what it feels like on the inside and yeah so he's like i feel like they're getting a lot more powerful because i could like see it today and i tried to get a video of it and my cats were judging me so hard they were literally just like staring at me and i simply did not get any on video but if i do i'll include that but i was like that's so cool i think he's finally like, growing to a point where it's like you can like see it from the outside okay breakfast is served we're having our pancakes some fruit and my coffee All right, we are set up and we're about to try a new form of a workout. Okay, all done working out, I did. I'll link this video in the description box if you guys, I don't know. I literally just searched like Pilates pregnancy workout on YouTube. It's like the first one that popped up and it was like a 25 minute lower body one. I'm trying really to work on some pelvic floor stuff as well, so. I figured that would be good. <laughs> Look at my cat. He's also working out. He's doing downward cat. But yeah, I feel good that I got some movement in today. I also go for a walk later when it stops raining. Hopefully if it stops raining. But then we go head to my mailbox. I think I got another baby package in today. And then once I get cleaned up and stuff, I want to unbox the stroller and do all that. I'm really excited to open that. So yeah, let's go do all this do all the thing. We're back from the mailbox and I have a package. I don't know how to say the name of the website, 
that I ordered this stuff off of, but I'll link it down below. I saw it, like I said, on an ad. It's like wild bub, maybe, hopefully, but everything's packaged so cute. So the first thing I got is this adorable little beanie with a little smiley face on it, and it's so freaking cute. I literally can't. Okay, so first I got this little sweat set kind of so it has a little sun on it and it's just like a khaki brown and then it has matching little pants and they are so soft okay and this is what got me on the website in the first place like this was the ad that i saw and it's this little sunshine romper like are you actually kidding me and it just matches the theme and everything and i'm so excited and yeah i want to have in the nursery a little spot where we hang up like a few cute outfits like i've seen people do it where they hang up like a sweater that has like the name on it or like something like that and i think some of these pieces would look really cute because they're gonna match like the theme of the nursery so okay next little sweat set is another pair of like khaki pants and then this one just says hey cutie and i thought that was so cute the last thing i ordered is another sweat set the three sweat sets that i showed you actually came like a pack it was like on sale um, and then I got the romper separately. So yeah, this one just says hi on it. And then it is like a little cream color and the back has a little smiley face. And then the pants are obviously that same cream color with the same little smiley face on them. And I thought they were so freaking cute. So that's all I got from there. That was it for my quick little mini haul. Just made a yogurt bowl as a snack and I'm watching some YouTube. Okay, so we're finally going to unbox the stroller and then i have two other boxes from them i think one of them is the adapter to put the car seat on so i think that's what one of them is and i'm assuming the other one is the bassinet attachment okay so we have her built obviously this is the seat that it comes with so this is not the infant like car seat or anything and you can flip this to go like facing me or facing the other way i just put it on this way um and some features i really liked about the stroller like why i went with this one first of all this bottom part you can unzip it um and it'll drop all the way down so once they're old enough to like eat or anything in the stroller any crumbs or dirt or anything you can literally just like an like, easy cleanup feature i really liked how big the basket was on the bottom i feel like a lot of strollers nowadays people don't want that i don't know why um i did attach the netting and this is magnetic so that's pretty cool um and then obviously you can like fold it back and then it also came with a whole stroller bag which i didn't know it was going to come with that which would be nice for storage purposes definitely right now like since we're not using it um it also came with this like mesh thing i'm not 100 sure what this is for i'm gonna have to look into that more it also came with this like wet bag that you can leave so if there's like any accidents or anything you can store it without ruining stuff which i thought was pretty cool i am going to go ahead and unbox the other two mockingbird boxes and see what's in them and i might have to wait until my husband gets home to try and attach the infant car seat because i can't get the infant car seat out of the base of the car that I, oh my God, i'm out of breath because it came in it but we did get our car seat from graco we didn't get well mockingbird doesn't even actually have an interior car seat in, infant car seat so i'm also going to try and take this off and fold it down and see how easy that is as well but i need to catch my breath real quick and i'll take a break okay i just opened up the bassinet attachment and went ahead and attached that it's so easy to switch out the pieces so far like what i do is click the buttons and pull them right out so now i have that one over there i think i'm really out of breath in these clips i'm sorry so i'm doing a lot of up and down and movement you know but i really love this i'm so excited to use this to go on walks because we love to go on like an hour long walk obviously i don't know how i feel like postpartum but i would 
hope that we can still do that. And it's not good for our babies to be in like an infant car seat, like buckled in for more, I think it's like 30 to 45 minutes at a time. So they just kind of like put that at ease because it's really just a bassinet. And I know they also sell um, a stand like Mockingbird does where you can put this bassinet attachment like on a stand so you can use it around your house. So I've also kind of considered adding that to my registry, but I'm not really sure yet, but I love the way this looks and it's so cute. Okay, I figured out how to get the car seat out of the car base and I attached the adapter to the stroller and then the car seat. So this is the infant car seat um, from Graco. Um, I will link down below everything I'm showing you guys if you guys want to check it out. Um, but yeah, so we went with this car seat and it does have the adapter. The adapter for the Mockingbird, you can get like a few different car seats. I think they have, oh, actually I actually have a list right here. So these are the car seats that work with the Mockingbird if you wanted to also attach an infant car seat. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take some vertical content now and clean up this mess. And then I'm gonna try and fold up the stroller with the adapter and see if that works because if not, that would be unfortunate, but we'll see. You can close up the stroller and leave the car seat adapter. The lighting is not the best right now because of the room, the room I'm in. But like I said in like a previous vlog, every time we get something for the baby or the room or whatever, we put it into the gaming room, which is gonna be the nursery. We just obviously haven't converted it over yet. And the lighting in here and everything is just not up to par, but I didn't wanna like move everything. But I wanted to show you guys, I got the Amazon registry gift bag and I wanted to show you guys like what's in here really quickly I also this is not from the registry gift bag I just bought it at Target the other day and I didn't show it um in any vlogs yet so I just got this itsy pack itsy ritzy pacifier case um and it was just like an end cap in Target and it was kind of like impulsive <laughs> I was like that is so cute I love the like beige checkered pattern um yeah but anyways, the baby registry gift bag from Amazon is if you make a registry with them and then I think you have to purchase something that was, I think $10, maybe 15, but it wasn't expensive. It was either like 10 or $15. And then they send you this gift bag, like free shipping and everything. So I actually am registered through baby list, but I did originally make an Amazon registry because I can use Amazon until one of my friends told me about baby list. And I was like, oh, I like that better. I like how I can like add stuff from multiple places so I just ended up buying something that I had put on my Amazon registry um to get the gift bag um yeah so I just bought some like decals that we're going to use for the wall when we decorate the nursery I just bought those and then I got this bag so I'm just going to show you guys what I got so the first thing we got is the amazing baby newborn muslin swaddle and it just has like zebras on it but yeah so this is really nice it's like a full size just regular swaddle which is nice i got the phillips advent anti-colic bottle i'm gonna assume it's just one bottle in here it feels like it's just one bottle this will be nice though because i've heard obviously babies are all different and trying out like different bottles is good because sometimes they like some they don't like some so like having like samples of bottles will be nice then i got this bodysuit from carter's and it's in three to six months and it's like a zoo print which is nice. And then we got a Dr. Brown's anti-colic bottle. There is a Bessie's Best Lactation cookie. And then I think the rest of this is all samples and coupons. But as for like samples and stuff, we got the cocoa butter oil and um, like belly butter, which is actually good because I'm almost out of the oil. I've been using bio oil and I'm almost out of it. So I'm gonna need to try something else. So I might try this out and see how it feels. Um, and then there's just some coupons for like top brands. Let's see. So we just have like a bunch of coupons for brands. Um, there's like a Shutterfly 50% off your order coupon, which would be nice if I want to buy like a photo book or something. And then there is some like a tea or some tea packets in here. And the last thing was some Aquaphor little thing for baby. But yeah, I thought that was pretty nice because it was technically like free because I was going to buy that stuff off Amazon anyway. So yeah, if you guys haven't done an Amazon registry, 
do one. Even if you're not going to use it, just put something on there that you're going to buy yourself anyway. Buy it, and then you get this stuff for free. So why not? But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My next vlog, hopefully, will be kind of focusing on the nursery finally. We want to start, like, the process of that because we obviously have a lot to do. We have to take all the game room stuff out of here and put the game room downstairs. So we have to, like, clean out the room downstairs, make it into a game room, take all the stuff downstairs. Like, that alone is going to take a whole process. And then we want to paint. So we need to, like, look at paint, buy paint, paint. And we're going to take a design on the wall. So we have to figure out how I'm, like, not artistic. So we have to do that. I think I want to start focusing um, buying some stuff for the nursery now and like not so much like clothes and whatnot because that's been fun and all but it's time to start like really putting together the nursery getting some furniture stuff like that so i can feel a little bit more organized so thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog i know they're like all over the place but being a full-time student and working and being pregnant is a lot my brain is just like i can never remember what i filmed when i'm filming so i just kind of film random pieces every day and put it together but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next one.